just breathe, okay? <laughs> so today has been a little bit challenging for me. I had a long conversation with Spectrum and that I had three phone calls with and it was just very frustrating, but they finally listened to me and got it done. And then I walked in and I said, Lily, do you wanna wait until after the meeting and I'll make you lunch? And she said, well, boss, I'm kinda hungry now. And you know, for me, if you're hungry now, I say, let's do it. So the plan was, I had this super easy thing in my mind, I was gonna do stir fry for you. Remember that cool pan that I got for three bucks at the garage sale? Well, I was gonna use that today. Here's the deal. It didn't really work out like that. It took me way longer to make the zucchini noodles than I thought, which was really frustrating after I got off the phone with Spectrum. Okay, so this is what I was planning on doing. I was gonna make these really cool zucchini noodles. Now, as you know, I use this machine to make the long ones, like this, right? The long flat ones, and I mastered that. It was really cool. I made, can make lasagna and enchiladas. Hey, Stacy, good to see you, girl. So I have this one mastered, right? Well, I decided I was gonna do the fettuccine noodles and put them in a stir fry and stir fry them all up. Well, here's the deal. That didn't work so well. Look at all the stuff I have left over, right? I mean, it kept just not cutting them. It kept spinning around. I mean, I was getting things like this that have like the, the cuts in them, but it wasn't cutting. I mean, come on, I was like super frustrated. I'm like, breathe, just breathe. Cause sometimes lunch doesn't come out like you like it or it takes longer than you want. But I kept thinking to myself, I'm gonna eat healthy, I'm gonna eat healthy. I mean, how many times during this whole process did I wanna bag it and say, Lily, I'm gonna run out to Urban Meat and get us something. But this is what I got, okay? So I did get some of those fettuccine noodles, see? But it took me like 30 minutes to get there. This is kind of what it kept coming out to be like. Check it out. See, they're actually noodles, but they don't really separate. Isn't that garbage? <laughs> Ooh, I almost said a bad word online, but it's a good thing I didn't. Now I just have all this stuff I can cook with later, okay? So I did get this, and this is like three or four zucchini noodles, okay? And they're the flat ones. It's kind of cool. They, they are stuck together, but you know, the blades weren't cutting it, and I'm just gonna make it into a salad. Now most people, when they eat zucchini, they actually cook it. Well, I will tell you, that's how I'm familiar with doing it, but it's so much easier <laughs> not to cook it because now I have run out of time. I mean, I have people coming in, I've got a one o'clock phone call I gotta be on, I just don't got it together. So I'm gonna make a salad, cause you know, that's what I do, I wing it, right? So what I did is I had a cucumber and part of it got frozen. <laughs> Yeah, I'm having a kind of a crazy day. So part of the cucumber was frozen. So I only have half a cucumber, man. And then I have some jalapeno. And the jalapeno popped out of my hand and the seeds went all over the floor. So literally, I'm standing in jalapeno seeds because I wanted to give this to you. The next thing I have on here is cilantro. And you know how most of the time I have them in all nice little dishes and I just throw it in there? Well, I ain't doing it today. <laughs> I'm throwing it in my salad and that's what you got. All right, so now what am I gonna do? <laughs> well, see, you can see the jalapeno seeds all over. Well, it's down here on the floor too. I'm gonna have to clean that up a little later. I have, oh, need my cutting board. I wanted to show you this really cool fruit on Monday, but I didn't have a chance to. Now, this fruit is actually <laughs> the prickly pear. Now, if you are in the weight loss phase, you do not wanna be eating this baby. But if you're not in the weight loss phase and you can go ahead, ooh, look how pretty that is, you can have some of this. Don't eat it a lot because it is higher in sugars and carbs, okay? But it is loaded with vitamin C, calcium, it's antiviral, and it has anti-inflammatory stuff in there too, and it's a great antioxidant. It has um, fatty acids in it, so you guys, guys want to get on that, in on that. And look at it, it kind of has a red... See that? Isn't that beautiful? Ooh, I've never had one before, but it is definitely sweet. I got this in my Mexican Willis Market. Had to have it, right? I love trying new stuff. Now, I will tell you some things that I read about this. It helps with aging. So if I could eat this every day, <laughs> I'd be eating it. 
but you know, I can't because it is pretty high in sugar. I'm gonna put that in salad. Now, if you guys watch here, this is how you cut it up, okay? So you kind of peel the skin like this and Oh, you just can get it out from the side. Just Lily's in there. here telling me about how to do it because you know she knows about these things, right, Lily? Yeah, we we used to eat them at my grandpa's house. She used to eat them at her grandpa's house. Oh, what did these bring back memories, huh? So that's too hard to squeeze it out from the side. So I'm just kind of cutting it up. You guys can see it. It kind of reminds me of a beet, except a beet is not as juicy. What do you guys think, huh? That's a pitahia? It's what? Like a tuna. A tuna? Is the name of it in Spanish? <laughs> this is a tuna in Spanish. It is a prickly pear, Lily. It's supposed to help with aging, and I, I think I said that, but under eye circles too. Did you know that, Lily? Oh, yeah. No, that's not a, that's a pitaya. Okay. Pitaya. Oh, pitaya. Pitaya. <laughs> pitaya. 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 Yeah, there you go. I will tell you, it smells delicious. It is. If you have, ooh, look. If you have brittle nails, it has little seeds in it, but mm. those are supposed to be very good for you. And they make jams and jellies out of this. Mm. And here's just another thing for all my friends out there. You guys got a hangover? This stuff is supposed to be the bomb. Have you heard about that, Lily? No. So we're having that in our salad too. This was going to be a stir fry today, Lily. I'm really sorry, but I'm mixing it up because we're running out of time. Now, I got this all together. Check out how beautiful that looks already. Lots of colors, you guys. I can eat it like that. You don't have to even cook. <laughs> I know, right? So um, I do want to tell you there's one more, actually two more, actually several more things I'm going to put in it. <laughs> I'm just not with it today. That whole spectrum thing threw me off. All right, remember the garlic that I put in my little garlic mill here? Well, I had this left over from last week and I want to make like a little dressing. I'm gonna put this in there like that. This is my olive oil, all right guys? And then apple cider vinegar for those folks that were in on my test. If you are not drinking apple cider vinegar every day, man, I'm telling you, you are missing it. So I'm gonna mix that in there. I think I'm gonna add some more apple cider vinegar because I'm doing what I do, I wing it, right? So I'm gonna put that in there and then to make it super anti-inflammatory, I am adding my special spice that Jody and Rob gave me. This is equal parts of turmeric, garlic powder, Himalayan salt, black pepper, and ground coriander. I'm just mixing that in here too to give my salad some extra color and flavor. And if you don't know, anti-inflammatory turmeric right here, man, as long as that, as well as that prickly pear, all right? So I'm pouring that over our salad. We gotta get to our meeting, guys. There you go. How's that look? Fantastic. Might add some salt and pepper. And we are eating, and I'm gonna feel better, and I'm gonna breathe and let spectrum just relax because I will tell you, after all said and done, they do give me good service down here at, at Texas Lights Diet. So I got to give them a thumbs up. Now, if you guys like <laughs> what I'm doing, please like and share. But most of all, if you want to get healthy and you've been struggling with diets and weight loss and this and that, and you are, you're me. That's what I was five years ago. I did every diet out there on the planet. Guys, don't try anymore. Get your boat, get your booty in here. <laughs> <laughs> and I will help you and Lily too. My name's Vicki. I'm with Texas Last Diet. We can show you how to eat right, starting with Moxie Fit and real food. All right, guys, I'll be listening for your phone call. Have a great day.